From the beginning of the United States Army, military medicine has been there, healing the wounded, preventing disease, caring for those who cannot care for themselves. That tradition has continued for over two centuries. The Army Reserve Medical Forces are proud to be part of that tradition. Since its creation in 1944 as the 807th Medical Detachment in England during World War II, the 807th Medical Command Deployment Support has endured numerous Army transformations and is currently proud to be at the forefront of Army medicine. In Iraq and Afghanistan, in the jungles and sprawling cities of Central and South America, in the heat of Africa, the frigid cold of Alaska, and the oceans of the South Pacific, the 807th Medical Command is making a difference. The Army Reserve contains over 65% of the Army's medical capabilities. There are three major commands that comprise the Army Reserve Medical Community. The 807th Medical Command is one of these three commands and serves as an Expeditionary Theater Medical Command that consists of over 11,000 soldiers, 118 field medical units, and covers 26 states from Ohio to California. The 807th Medical Command offers full spectrum medical capabilities from hospital and trauma care to ambulance and preventative medicine services. Five medical brigades comprise the 807th and provide medical command and control, allowing it to cover its large area effectively. Those brigades are located in Columbus, Ohio, Chicago, Kansas City, Missouri, Dallas, and the San Francisco Bay Area. Each brigade has a wide range of medical capabilities. Those include general and emergency medicine, surgery, dentistry, veterinary, preventative medicine, combat stress control, ophthalmology, pharmacy, physical and occupational therapy, radiology, blood processing, nutrition, ambulance service, patient administration, biomedical repair, medical logistics, and food inspection services. We have every operational medical specialty um, in the Army's inventory plus the equipment to support them. So if we can't do it, it probably can't be done. The 807th offers key support to overseas contingency operations in every medical specialty. Since its transformation to a theater medical command in 2008, the 807th has deployed thousands of soldiers to Iraq, Afghanistan, Kuwait, and Qatar. In March 2010, the 807th Medical Command deployed Task Force 807th to Iraq as theater medical command and control. The task force was responsible for managing all medical activities throughout the country and planning the drawdown of theater medical assets in Iraq. There are four theater medical commands in the United States Army, two active and two reserve, each aligned to support a regional combatant command. The 807th Medical Command is responsible for peacetime support to Southern Command, or SOUTHCOM, and its Army Service Component Command, U.S. Army South. This gives the 807th responsibility for medical support and engagement to all the countries in Central and South America and the Caribbean. The 807th Medical Command has sent soldiers on medical, dental, and veterinary support missions to Haiti, Dominican Republic, Trinidad, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Belize, Panama, Colombia, Peru, Suriname, and Guyana. Working directly with the Army Service Component of SOUTHCOM gives us an advantage to focus our attention to operational deployments in a set theater. The 807th Medical Command participates in several operations each year that include medical personnel from sister services, other departments of the United States government, and non-governmental organizations as well. Each year, medical detachments from the 807th travel on U.S. Navy ships in support of U.S. Naval operations such as Pacific Partnership and Continuing Promise. These Navy humanitarian missions serve areas in the South Pacific and the Caribbean respectively. Both areas are in desperate need of medical assistance and are also difficult to travel to. In 2011, the 807th was the executive agent for the Department of Defense-sponsored Operation Arctic Care, an annual joint and interagency mission that provides health care, dental care, eye care, and veterinary care to the indigenous population of the Alaskan interior. Operation Arctic Care 2011 involved over 320 medical professionals from the Navy and Air Force, the Alaska National Guard, and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Operation Arctic Care is also a major medical logistics operation involving the coordination and airlift of nearly 100 tons of medical supplies, resupplies and equipment, 
and over 700 passengers to numerous villages throughout the remote Alaskan wilderness with limited aviation assets. Arctic Air is really a great mission because it allows us to, first of all, get invaluable training for our medical professionals, but also to help out the Alaskan natives who live in such remote places that there aren't even roads to these villages. They, the only way in is by air. Medical diplomacy is in the forefront of current strategic thinking. The 807th Medical Command has spearheaded medical diplomacy in many areas. Medical diplomacy, unlike traditional medical aid, is aimed at building the local capacity and sustainment of medical capabilities in the host nation. This is a long-term strategy to reduce the need for humanitarian assistance and U.S. military medical involvement to support host nations in underserved areas of the world. Operation Beyond the Horizons is an example of a new approach in medical diplomacy. In previous years, the 807's missions with Southcom were two week long medical readiness exercises that distributed medical treatment, but did little to address the long term solutions and sustainable capabilities of the underserved areas. Operation Beyond the Horizons takes a longer term approach to serving people in remote areas in the Southcom area of operations for periods as long as three months. 807th Medical Command soldiers will work with local medical providers in countries we visit with the goal to significantly improve the health care delivery in those countries. In addition, they will also introduce medicine and community health education concepts to the people of the host nation. Other medical diplomacy missions the 807th Medical Command is involved in include assisting hospitals in Central America and the Caribbean with the maintenance and repair of medical equipment and its rapidly evolving technology. The 807th also offers continued medical and healthcare education to several countries and performs special projects such as introducing the latest cataract surgery procedure to eye care professionals in other nations. These projects will provide a sustained improvement in the host country's ability to care for their people. The 807th also works with foreign military medical establishment from countries from Canada and to Uganda to enhance their military medical capabilities. The 807's involvement in the strategic medical diplomacy is to go into the host nation and enhance their capabilities for long-term care. Uh, in the past, uh, our units would go in and maybe extract the tooth. Well, now we go in with dental hygienists and teach the local population, teach the host nation how to take care of those patients and prevent some of the issues that they have been having. The 807th Medical Command is a diverse and capable organization able to deploy anywhere in the world at any time. An integral part of the Army's medical capabilities, the 807th has every medical specialty needed to support the U.S. Armed Forces and civilians overseas. The 807th Medical Command will be there when and where the country needs them. We are Army Strong.